Hi and welcome to another video. With this video I've got two words for you. Titan Extruder. That's right, I've been in touch with E3D and I've now got an E3D Titan Extruder. Uh, it was only released about a week ago at time of filament and it took us a while to get the uh, get the things together to get this video made. This is just going to be a quick whistle stop tour. It's not going to be any kind of how to build it or anything. This is just how it's packaged, what you get and what I intend to do with it. So. If you've had stuff from E3D before, you know it comes in a brown cardboard box and they've put like about a billion of them foam chips in. Not this time. This time you get a proper box with E3D markings on it. Every side of it has got something written on. You know, it's really nicely packaged. When we open it, if we can open it, we get, as per standard with E3D, one bag of Haribos. These ones are Tangfastics. I'll eat them later. And uh, inside, let's, uh, let's put it this side so you can probably see without everything falling out. We have some nice squishy, I'm going to call that foam, and it's cut out for every part of the extruder. So we have the extruder here, we have the tension arm here. At the top there's a slot for some information, there's a card in there with the assembly, the, the web address of the assembly instructions, and a cool E3D sticker. And uh, this hole here has a bag of fixins, it, it even says fixins and another bag with your stepper motor gear and a couple of filament guides in. Now, they do do a kit that comes with a stepper motor, so if you bought that kit, the stepper motor would obviously fit in there, that's why it's that shape. But uh, yeah, top marks to E3D for totally upgrading their packaging. It's absolutely brilliant, everything fits in. So what does, this, what does the extruder look like? And it's tiny, it's absolutely tiny. I wouldn't say it was more than an inch thick and on the front it's nicely marked we have instructions on direction for extrusion because you can manually wind the extrusion through it's really nice it's nice plastic it's well made um, if we take the lid off you can see there's a bearing pressed into the back of the lid for the extruder I'm going to call that the hobbed bolt to uh, rotate on and if we remove that you see there's a, another one in the back which is really nice and um, that's pretty much it there's a slot here for a tension screw to go in uh, the idler arm if you if you can imagine the um, the step of motor pucks to the back the uh, the step of motor gear out of this little bag I don't know if you can see that goes onto the idler arm uh, no it doesn't it goes onto the step of motor arm and it needs to be level with this face it can't stick out any higher so that's a little bit of setup that you have to do this arm has a bearing in it and the pin sticks out higher on one side and it's flush on the other the side where it's flush again it rides against this cog so basically you have the stepper motor drive sticking through there with the cog on this hole goes on the end of the drive and you can see how applying force to the uh, tension adjusting arm would apply force to this so let's just quickly um get me e3 dv6 there it is and i'll show you what you have to do with this to get it all to fit so this is an e3 dv6 i bought it a while ago um the keen idle spot that it's a a, a light six heat sink shroud i did buy a light six as well and i swapped the heat sinks over eh, the, the fans over uh, the other fan was wired to some equipment and I just used this one on here but it fits perfectly it's okay now this is a 1.75 mil I think they, they sell it as a universal kit but it, it's a I'm going to use it in direct drive so it has like a board and connecting the top um, this little black piece you have to remove that for it to work with the uh, with the Titan what you do need which you don't get in the kit with the extruder is a bit of board and tube what you do is you shove that in there and you cut it off you have 16 millimeters sticking out and you cut it off and that's that's it so then what you do is you take this bag that comes with the extruder it has like i said before the step and motor drive cog on it and two filament guides one for three mil which is white and one for 1.75 get rid of that which is black and that literally sits on top of there that's it. If the uh, boarding tube is longer than 16 mil, it doesn't sit flush, so you've got to make sure it's exactly 16 mil. And then what you do 
I'll just remove the top there we go so there's your extruder and you just slide that into the extruder and you should be able to see the filament path I don't know if I could go oh there we go the filament path is now exactly straight from the hob bolt all the way through to the heat chamber so what I'll do is in a couple of days I'll get this fitted to the BQ Prusa i3 that I've got and we'll do some test prints and see what it's like so that's it that was a whistle stop tour of the E3D Titan extruder um, I just wanted to show how it was packaged because it's so different it's brilliant of E3D to do that so as usual please like comment and subscribe I've been Steve thanks for listening